Welcome back to more Ryan Serhant. We are once again in an unnecessarily uh, precarious situation, but I'm doing it so that you pay attention. Buckle up, listen up, like and subscribe, let's go. As you all know, I'm an entrepreneur. I started my own thing. I've started multiple of my own things with no book, no real mentor, no real understanding of how to take those next steps and what to do. And one of the reasons that I have the more Ryan Serhan channel is to hopefully maybe give you some nuggets of wisdom that help you build the next big thing. And before my daughter, who's currently four, enters the workforce, her go-to is going to be to work for herself versus going and getting a job. And so if the job market is going to push people into doing their own thing, then I am here to champion those people because that's what happened to me over 15 years ago. So for those of you that are going to college, thinking about going to college, or who have come out of college and are thinking about building your own thing, selling something, or being an entrepreneur, here are the four things that college doesn't teach you about building your own business. The first thing college doesn't teach you is how to take risk. In college, you are learning skill sets. Yes, you're learning knowledge, but you're, you're learning information so that you can use it in a skill. You're learning about macro and microeconomics so that your skill as a trader when you're graduating can be more well-rounded. But you're not learning how to take risk. Taking risk is where the magic is. With great risk comes great reward. And it's something that no professor can teach you. Now, can you look at case studies of where great risk was taken? Absolutely, that's every entrepreneurial startup movie and story of all time. I have Nikes on, clearly it worked out. But there was massive risk when that company was started. And there's risk when your company is started. So understanding how to take calculated risk. We're not blowing up your whole life, but you're taking that chance on moving your life forward so that you can live a life that everybody else can't is insurmountable. And the reason colleges don't teach it is because colleges shy away from failure. If they taught you how to go out there and make mistakes and fail, that would be a bad business for colleges whose number one job is job placement. Colleges like to say, everyone who graduates gets a top job. Our average college graduate gets out of here with a six-figure salary. Oh, I'm gonna go to that college. That sounds great for my prospects for my life. Colleges just don't teach it. So you have to learn how to be an entrepreneur on your own. You have to learn how to be a salesperson on your own. Have you ever taken a sales class at school? No, why do you think we started Sell It Like Sirhan, the greatest sales program in the history of the known universe? Go to selllikesirhan.com. And while college teaches you Everything you need to know to be successful, remember the visual. Success stands on a mountain of failures, not buried underneath it. And you can't have success without failure. Otherwise, you're just on the flat road with everybody else. So you've got to learn to take risk. The second thing that they don't teach you in college to grow your own business and be an entrepreneur is adaptability. School is, almost by definition, rigid and it's done on purpose. You have to have a schedule, you have to have assignments. There are semesters or trimesters, there's exams, there's midterms, there's finals. They need to assess you to give you grades. Otherwise, what are you paying for? We pay for results, we don't pay for the journey. Your ability to adapt an industry, a market, a business, a career, is going to be something that you're gonna to need to learn and you're probably gonna learn it the hard way. Just look at me and look at real estate. I'm sitting on top of a roof in 100 degree weather in New York City right now with this ridiculous microphone, adapting the way that I build brands. I am adapting to the marketplace. Firms, the way they've sold real estate for hundreds of years, okay, and it's hundreds, plural, have not changed for quite some time, not even past the internet. And so it was my job to come in and adapt the business to the new world order, which is for Gen Z, Gen Alpha, and through content to commerce marketing in your phone. And that's adaptability. The third thing they don't teach you is how to create a genuine connection. Now you're gonna create genuine connections your entire life. The person you're sitting next to in class, the roommate that you now have to live with because you can't afford to have your own apartment. You're gonna build those genuine connections, but college doesn't teach you that because it's not in their best interest. It's in their best interest to teach you how to network, how to meet people superficially. 
how to create as many different relationships as possible, but then the work is on the schoolwork. It's on the information so they can assess you and they can grade you and they can move you out of the funnel and then send you fundraising emails and letters for the rest of your life. That's the goal. Forging genuine connections that have a return value proposition for each side and each party is going to be monumental for the business that you are going to get into or the one that you want to build. You need to make at least one serious and solid new general connection every single week for the rest of your life if you wanna build something great. That doesn't mean you have to meet one new person. At minimum, you have to meet five new people every day if you wanna build a business where at least one of those each week creates a genuine connection because people hate being sold, but they love shopping, doing, and building with friends. And the fourth thing that college isn't gonna teach you that you really, really, really need to learn is grit and resilience. I cannot stress this enough. You are gonna have some pretty awful days they're coming, just know it. You're probably gonna have some pretty bad years. Accept it and be aware that bad times are going to happen to you because you're a human being on this planet. That's just what happens. But the grit and the resilience you have to power through those moments and not just accept a bad grade and try again next semester is what's going to push you to the top of that mountain of success. Remember, success is at the top of a mountain of failures, of no's, of problems. I deal with problems all day, every day. People quit, I have to fire people. People don't wanna do things, people don't show up. It's people. So what does that mean? It means I need to adapt. What does that mean? It means I have to have grit and resilience. In New York City alone, sales volume is down 60% year over year. But some of us saw it coming and some of us plan for it. And I can look at the problems that the world is giving me and I can complain and I can cry, which I do sometimes. Or I can say, bring it on. I knew this was coming. I knew I was gonna have bad days. I knew I was gonna have bad months. I knew I was gonna have bad years. Bring it. There's nothing you can do to me because I am pushing forward and I'm gonna win at all costs because getting to the top of that fucking mountain is the only answer. And remember, I went to college. I graduated from a great school, four years. I learned a lot. I feel like it made me into an adult, but I learned a lot more once I got out and sometimes the wrong way. This is a learning process for all of us. And that's why you're here watching more Ryan Serhan. So I can walk you through my entrepreneurial journey of building the greatest real estate firm in the history of the known universe through all the ups and all the downs. Like, subscribe, I love you. It is so hot up here, I need to get off this roof right now.